Hello everybody, welcome to the video we are today for another video, this time in Automobile Easter. Yes, yeah, something different, I thought I'd give AMS a go. Uh, one of the sims I have done a good deal of time on, not for a while though, I used to do AMS a lot more um, a few years ago. Uh, I used to do some league racing in it, it was really good fun, um, but unfortunately uh, just yeah, ended up getting more into eye racing, I suppose, and sort of committing to that. And now with um, work and everything, it's not really possible to do many leagues, if any, in uh, AMS. So yeah, so still jump on though every now and then, do some laps. And I thought, just because, because why not? We'll do the V8 supercars that are on Automobilista and give them a run around Sydney Motorsports Park. One good thing about AMS that iRacing doesn't have is it's got a few more tracks that the actual V8 supercars race around, so you can have a lob in them in the supercars using um the models i can't remember who did them i think it was esc or ecs or something like that did them all for the ford and the nissan um so the old ford not the current mustang but the old ford falcon the last was falcon supercar and they've got the nissan the ultima and we've got the old holden commodore supercar basically the same one that is available in iRacing more or less so um yeah that's what we've got here and as you can see we've got the 2017 field i think bar uh, one of the Nissans, uh, Caruso, that's right, Mark Caruso, bar his Nissan, because for some reason he his car brings an error and doesn't load, for some reason. Every other car is fine, it's just his, so I had to remove it just so it doesn't um, keep getting an error. Um, but yeah, otherwise we've got the full 2017 field. We're starting at the back, uh, as you can see there, in Chas Mostert's, sorry, not Chas Mostert's, wow, wrong name there, apologies in advance for that one, Cameron Waters, there we go, Cameron Waters, Mostert Energy Racing Falcon, circa 2017. I uh, did that the field qualify just to hopefully get a, you know, semi-accurate field in terms of the times. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. 30-minute uh, race around SMP uh, here today. Should be a good time. I'll see you guys on the grid. All right, here we are at Sedimo Sports Park for this little quick race in the supercars. And, yeah, it should be fun. Um, different, they are a bit different to drive. The... Uh, AMS supercars to the iRacing ones, not quite the same machines as the iRacing ones. Uh, so yeah, still good fun though, so we'll see how we go. Got a spotter though, again, just like in iRacing. Oh, I'm rolling off the grid, good. No penalty though, so it's okay. We're all good, alright, cool. Very bad start, I'm not very good at starting the AMS V8 supercars, so they're a bit trickier to start, I've found anyway, than iRacing's ones. See if we can just get through the initial corners. A-OK. -okay. AI will probably bunch up pretty badly opening in the opening lap, so let's take it easy here early on. Damage is on full though, so if we do have any bumps and get any damage, it will be there, so we've got to be careful of that. As I say, nice and easy early on. Oh wow, hung out to dry here on the outside, that's okay. Brake temperature is apparently in range. Good stuff. Oh man, Lee Holdsworth nearly going off there. That's a bit dodgy. And Taz can he hold out, hang on to dry. Right. Big old bomb down the inside. Oh, I'm quite going to get done anything, are we? Maybe. Oh, just. There we go. Looks like that's Alex Rulo. Back when he was 2017, when he did have a run in the main game, side by side with Lee. It's not optimal. I actually have a bit of a confession, I suppose, mostly because it's not really available in any sims, if any, outside of mods for R Factor and the like. I've never really driven too much around Sydney Motorsports Park or versions of it. As I say, mostly because it's not really widely available in. Sims, it's outside of being done as a mod track, and obviously mods can vary greatly quality wise. I don't think this one's too bad. This is Patrick's, I don't know how to say his last name, but Patrick, uh, Patrick G, I know it's has the G's last name. He's done a lot of track mods for AMS, many, many track mods. Um, this is his version of it, which I think is not too bad. Um, again, I've never actually been obviously to SMP myself, so I can't really give a particularly accurate representation. Oh, it's really wide apparently for a second there. Got the move done though on Lee, good stuff. Oh, he's looking down the inside, nearly give him for the push there. We managed to hold on. So I don't think that we pit stop, there shouldn't be, assuming the tyres can hold on, but we'll soon see by the end of the race whether that's true or not. Should have probably tested that, but you know, it is me. 
pretty sure the soft's half now is pretty much line ball on whether they make it. God, the AI just dive into the corner so much more than I do. Looks like Moffat, James Moffat, they're getting a bad run. Dive up his inside. Oh, yep, got him, got him done. Good stuff. So making moves here, making progress. Good to see. AI kind of tripping over themselves a little bit, which is helping as well. Can kind of take the piss a little bit with the track limits around here. I'm doing it within what I think is a reasonable amount, although, you know, whether that's actually accurate or not, who knows. Again, the AI. Oh, they've gone wide. A couple of them. Oh, watch for the rejoin. All right. Got Nick Perk out there in that, I think, quite quite nice-looking clips delivery car. Oh, Blanchard's still there on the outside, but he pulls out. We've got the move done. That's 21st now. So making moves, I like it. Good fun, these cars. As I say, they are different to the iRacing V8s. Quite different, actually. They, it's, I don't know, it's hard, to, it's hard to explain. I think a grippier is the feeling. You get more grip. Um, I'm running, actually, a, the setup I'm running is just an old, a very old setup I have from Bathurst, uh, the modded version that's available again in AMS. That I think it was originally, is converted originally from Mod Far Factor 1. Um, so, yeah, as we have to get fencing against Lee, he's still on our backside. He's managed to come through on James and co with us. So it looks like Lee's kind of tag teaming his way through the field alongside us. But yeah, it's definitely a different, different sort of style, different feeling. Again, obviously not driven a V8 supercar myself, and doubt I ever will get the chance to drive a real life one, but, you know, it feels accurate enough, I suppose. Again, it's a bit hard to tell. It's different, but it's still good fun. They certainly still feel unique, and I think if it feels like it's unique and not like anything else you really drive, then that's at least partly accurate, because I think that's what supercar's like in real life. It's not really much else like it, so... Alright, we're making, didn't really make any progress there. Hell position in P21. It's good to see a nice little uh, overlay, I've got to say. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is the default one that they added a while a while back now, but they didn't have this for quite some time. It was the default one that they released. It's quite good, I've got to say. It gives you all the info you need, but not over the top. Got that nice little standings chart there on the left that you can... Whoa! <laughs> James apparently forgot where the corner was, and he's just gone straight on. I think he's in the fence too, so I think he's out. That's a big rip there. As I say, full, pretty sure it's full damage on, so... Big enough hit, and that'll be your day over. It's probably not a good idea against AI with how they can be sometimes. I have their aggression on low, just in the hope they don't drill me too hard, but even on low, they can still be a bit on the aggressive side. Seems to be kind of holding here in P21. I was going to do a run around Winton, actually, rather than SMP, but I uh, found I was uh, even further off the pace there than I was here, or M here. I think I've got the AI at about 90, 80-ish percent or something like that, so I don't have them very high, because again, I haven't driven this car in quite some time, so jumping in did a couple of quick laps to try and get the hang of the car again, and that's about it, so... But yeah, but um, yeah, I was going to race around there because that's a track I have been to because I've been to um, a couple of events there. And uh, yeah, so I don't think that's ever been, at least from the versions I've seen, I still don't think that's really been very accurately portrayed anywhere really, to be honest. But that's just my, my opinion there. I don't think it's really been ever represented in a sim or anything terribly accurately, but that's just, again, my view. Oh, good. So I was apparently up to 10th after five laps. Good, good. Took a while, but we got there. So nearly a third race distance already, actually. Going pretty quickly here. Not really gaining anything. We're kind of sitting here, stuck in P21. We're not last, though, which is the main thing in my mind, anyway. I just didn't want to be last, and there you go. James has indeed DNF'd after spearing straight on. Oh, I do can make mistakes. I think they're programmed that they can miss a breaking point sometimes. 
sometimes it can be by that much where they just literally forget to break entirely until they get to the corner, but... Plotting along behind Rulo. We should really beat Rulo. It's not particularly good for me if they let Rulo beat me, but anyway. 2017 spec Rulo, I should say. Doing Cam a very big injustice right now. I think I'm the last of the forwards. Good run there out of T1. We might go for the old bomb. Shove it up the inside. Classic supercar strategy. Just duck it up there. Just shove it right up, right in his face. There you go. You can't do anything about that, Alex. See you later, mate. There we go. Move done. That's P20. Waiting for him to do the, the classic retaliation bomb any minute now. They I do do that if you go a bit too early on the brakes. They will lob it just like that. Oh, he's... Nearly done it. Nearly gone to beat. Oh, he nearly did see, but not quite. It's quite fun. Keeps you on your toes. You can't really just stall the rounds. Even the guy has Lee going for him as well. I do love it. He's good. Not the best AI in the world, the AMS AI, because they are basically just R Factor 1's AI. Tweaked a little bit, but, um, you know, which at this point is aging a bit, but, you know, this is a job. And you can have some good side by side with them, as you can see those two are doing back there. As I say, it is good that sometimes they will just kind of bomb you. If you break a bit too early, they will just lob it up your inside. Whoa, big lock up there. That was a bit of a moment. But yeah, it does keep you on your toes. You can't just sort of duel into a, a corner too much, or else they'll just sort of go, thank you very much. It's always nice. Actually, I'm trying to remember what my button... Oh, I just activated the name tags. Whoops, sorry about that. The... Get rid of them. Oh, Ruler actually held on from the onslaught from Lee. Good stuff there. There you go. Found out what the... That button is. I found out what my... Oops. I keep <laughs> doing that by accident. Apologies, just trying to find where my brake bias button is. I think I've got the brake bias a touch too far back, maybe. Just a touch. One thing that I do notice with these these cars, the AMS's version of it, because their versions are called the I think they're called the Super 8, they are called the Super 8, but they're not actually obviously called the Commodore. Their version. They only have the Commodore in the game, they don't have any of the others, they've all been modded in by others, but um, they're not Commodore basically, because obviously they don't have the rights to the cars, they just looks exactly like them, but doesn't have the same badge and everything, so clearly not the same car, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, it's, and, and in, in this mod, the Ford and the Nissan are literally the exact same, the same sound, same handling, same everything as the Commodore, sorry, the not Commodore, they just look different, just have a different shell, but, um, one thing that they do require, the AMS ones, is much more of a blimp, that's the big thing that I've always noticed with them, is these things, you really do actually have to give them a pretty big blimp on the downshifts to make sure they don't lock, whereas the, the IR ones are almost the opposite, you want to be pretty minimal on the blimps because otherwise you risk popping the engine which can be really easy to do in the IR V8 so which is really interesting was this these ones you it's yeah it's encouraged almost to really blimp the crap out of them on the downshift so else you you seem to lock a lot easier so just interesting that's one main, the main thing I've always noticed but uh yeah other than that it's just it's feels grippier basically like a grippier version of the car in a way a little bit more understeering maybe as well Oh, that's way too deep. Wow, that's terrible. There's an apex there somewhere. It's okay, we didn't do too badly. Kind of recovered that a little bit. At least made progress. We haven't stayed last. This is kind of what I want, really. We've got a good little juicy pack here ahead of us. Apparently, Lounsey's caught in it, which is interesting to see. Lounsey not having pace, apparently, here. So far, just the one retirement, Moffat. 
Right, start of the race, or early on in the race, clobbering the wall. Does seem to be holding on okay, we're about to reach halfway through, a couple of minutes off half distance here. And going along okay, having a good time. AI all battling here, which is great for me to start holding each other up, hopefully. I can maybe get a piece of this action. I think it's Dale Wood, I think might be the, the cork in the bottle here. Maybe got a good qualifying lap in and dropping back a bit. Probably where he should be from memory, I think he was towards the back when he was racing. Curve. You feel it get airborne, it just has a little bit of a hop as it goes over the curve, and it's always fun. That's the best part of always in the Supercars, and that is one thing the AMS ones do do very well, as do the IR ones. You can absolutely murder the curbs, and it is great. <laughs> it is fine, so that's the big tick. As long as it can curb pop, then, you know, I'm pretty happy then. So, I guess it's just, it isn't right to drive a Supercar and not murder the curbs. just isn't right, you know, it's just not how it is done, so, to my mind anyway, but... There you go, so we've caught the back of this pack now, which is good to see, so we might have a chance at injuring a spot or two, maybe. Just been keeping the gap to rule low and co behind a couple of seconds, Taz and Tim have dropped off a bit more at the back of the pack. Closing in there on Percat in the braking zone. Oh, a bit of a squirrel there. It's like this midfield's all kind of closing up a little bit, all cascading together, which is good. So we might have a chance at nidgering a few spots here if we can clear her cat. They always got a little bit wide, it seems, through here, so we can kind of capitalise on that a little, little bit. The bomb at the hairpin is very much a possibility. As I say, tyres holding up okay. Looks like we should be at about 50% by halfway, and I think they'll still be good. I'm pretty sure the softs, if I remember correctly, they, I think the same with the other tyres, they last pretty well till about sort of 20% or so when they really start dying off. I think they get to about 10, 15, they just kind of pop, I think, from memory. I think that's, I'm just going off memory. It's been a lot, as I say, it's been a long time since I've raced these things. I did do a league, a supercars league, a long time ago now. Like a Euro based one, but I did do that for a time. Which is really good fun as well, but um, yeah. Here we go, bomb. Yep, there it is, same again. I think we'll get the same sort of deal. Yep, we've done, Nick pulls out. We are into P19. Stuff making progress bit by bit. Spin that. They yeah, are really weird lines through, they don't really touch the curbing as much as they probably could, but that's okay. Simona's Nissan. Hopefully we can maybe try and pick off a couple more. We still have a good chunk of the race to go. We're only just over halfway. Track ripping up bit by bit as well, I think, as the race is going on. Should be anyway. I'm pretty sure we've got sets so that will progress as the race happens. If not, well, big rip. 
If I was still feeling fine, as I say, they should be right till the end, I think. Might be getting a little bit squirrely by the end, but we should be okay. We've got way too much fuel on board, though, but that's okay. I think I put in about... Something like... Oh, uh, actually, it might be pretty good. Might be relatively close, which is good. If that's the case, we'll soon know. As long as I've got enough. I'm getting a really nice rhythm of these cars, I just like with the IR supercars, I always... I don't know what it is, like GTs and that are good... Oh, hello, that was a bit of <laughs> a bit more wheel spin than I thought. Um, they're good fun, and you know, or, or as course, or as course, of course, but... I don't know what it is, especially with the IR ones, but with these as well, it's just something about them when you get a really nice rhythm, it's just really good. I guess because it's... because they are quite a bit more difficult, a bit tricky to drive, you know, when you get a really good rhythm in them really pumping in good laps they're just that much more rewarding you know I suppose that might be what the, the difference is the yeah, enduros and I racing I always love as I say it's a shame that I can't really do um, yeah do the oh here we go oh Simona oh big old bomb at Dale nearly nearly rear ends him Let's see if we can capitalize here cheeky little around the outside no I was going to get the run, we can't quite, but good move there from Simone, a little bit aggressive, <laughs> nearly nearly turned him, probably wasn't far enough up, but hey. And the AI, I guess it wasn't too bad, to be honest, so... See if we can clear Dale as well, get one more spot at least. Others ahead seem to be kind of pulling away a little bit. As soon as behind Lee's got the move done on Alex as well, so he'll be starting to move through. Oh, big old bomb. Bomb! Huge bomb. Pull it up, though. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> Again, this is probably the one thing with the AI in AMS. They don't really go for defensive moves. They just kind of hold their line in defense. So the defense isn't particularly spectacular. But still, <laughs> it's good fun. When you go for a big old lob and you're able to pull it up. Get it done. That's move done. We're now up to P18. Ten minutes to go, so probably about sort of seven or eight laps, I'm gonna say, in that kind of region to go in this race. Been really good fun so far, I've got to say, been really good. It's good fun sometimes to when you get the right combo, get the right pace with the AI relative to you, you know, you're pretty similarly paced. Really good fun sometimes and uh still pushing, still challenging yourself, but it's not not the pressure of competitive racing, you know. Even random official stuff you st on iRacing is still, even though it doesn't mean anything, you still, you know, you still want to do well, I think. Still, because it's competitive and there are other humans and everything, you, you still want to, still that side of you that sort of seriousness kind of takes over to a degree, but because it's against AI and everything, you can just kind of chill, have a bit of, have a bit of good, good fun, have a bit of a lob. They've been good so far. Really enjoying this. So pretty much, I got think they are pretty much bang on the pace for me in this car. Not too quick. I can't have a chance of passing them, but not too easy either. It's a nice little, nice little middle ground. Simona really pumping in some good laps right now. Not really able to do much. Again, it seems T1's the main area I can kind of gain on the break, so I get close enough and go for a bit of a lob there again. But, excuse me, but doing good pace right now, Simona. We are, I think we are sort of slowly catching that pack ahead, that midfield scuffle. So, maybe there's a chance of something there. Again, correct to the AI, they've only been able to make up, you know, effectively, was it seven spots? So, 
you know, a bit of a charge through, but not been ridiculous, you know. So, it's really, it's the lob spots of the two slow corners seem to be where we can have a lob, as we've seen we've done already. And here as well, there's not really anywhere to go here unless you go for a big old dart down the inside there, but... Try and get a decent run, but every time... It's a good run, actually. That wasn't too bad. We might have a shot here at Simona. The T1, maybe. Go for that bomb again that we've done a few times. Might really be a bomb this time, I don't think. We're going to be nearly alongside before the entry. Beautiful. Good stuff. Alright, that wasn't even really a bomb, that was just a legitimate legitimate pass there. Whoa! Don't want to do that. Nearly throw it away as soon as we get it done. Get big wheel spin on the exit, that's okay. Get away with it. So it's P17. I don't know if we'll get any more. I feel like we're going to run out of time here unless there's an instant ahead or someone goes deep again like Moffat did. Outside of that, I think. 17th might be a best, the Lounge, he's having a bit of a look at Davey, so maybe there'll be something there. Oh, they have to go done, well done, there you go. Oh, wow. That was commitment into there. Felt it sort of skating there on the mid-corner. Mid oh, wow, we've got a real nice run through the last sector, so I'm not really dropping back. We'll see how we go. I don't think we're going to be able to go any quicker. We nearly beat our best there, just off. So we're a pretty decent best lap of the race for us. Be about 50%. As I say, they usually are still fine at about that point. That's when you get starting to get start to get to the 20-30% range, where you start to get a bit of noticeable wear. Otherwise, they usually hold on pretty well. So, it's been a fun race, it really has been. I've been really enjoying this one. And yeah, bit of variety, bit of you know different sim, all that kind of thing. Always good to jump into something else and have a bit of have a bit of go. Oh, Davey wants to get back at him. Here we go. Battle continues. Might have a chance at nidgering a couple of spots, maybe. Don't think so. We're not really catching them now. We're just kind of stable, but never know. to go, so I think we'd probably have about four or five to go. I hope we're good on fuel. I think we are. Pretty sure we're good on fuel. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. We had fueled a bit, but that's okay. Could have too much not enough. Remembering it obviously go by the leader in terms of the time left. I'm not really sure how far ahead the leader is, but I'd say it'll be two or three to go. As I say, been fun, been pretty relaxing, but had some good battles, some good lobbying as well. It was not really a proper late race unless you bomb at least somebody. So had a bit of that too.
any PB that lap as well. Oh, watch that curve on the inside, it does that. Yeah, I reckon we might be able to have a little bomb here, maybe get one more spot. Sure we don't loop it out of one of these corners. As I say, Ty, we're getting a little dicey. Not too bad, though. So if anything, it's me pushing a bit harder than anything else. Hello, look at this. Really cascading together here. Further ahead, I get the feeling there might have been some side-by-side -side action with one of the AIs. Probably balked everyone a little bit. Be my guess. There's a late chance of something here. We could just ninja a spot. That's Percat's been coming through as well further back. Alright, so a minute to go. No mention of a last lap yet, so I'm guessing we'll have one more after this, probably. I think it might be time certain plus a lap, I think is how I've got it set, or how it's set in AMS. Not sure, we'll find out. So this is either last lap now, or we've got one more. Either way, we'll just keep going. I don't know, I think we're going to need, although they're side by side ahead, so they're holding each other up, so we might have a vague chance of something here. Ooh -wee. Drift over. No, again, not probably. You need to bomb somebody. Do a bit of drift over, nearly die. And I think that's sort of the basic checklist for the proper supercar race to me. They're cascading together up here. So maybe is there a chance? I don't think there will be. I think we're going to run out of time, but. right up in the hairpin if we can just get a little closer. So we'll find out I think this lap if it's the last or not. I'm hoping we got one more because it might be a ninja a spot here. Maybe. Let's find out as we enter the main straight. Yeah, I think it is one more or not. Let me have a look. Yep, yeah, one more, righto. Here we go, last lap, can we ninja a spot? That's my aim here, I want to try and get Davey, or whoever the hell ends up being in 16th at the end of all this. We've got the pace to, I think, especially if they keep battling. Oh, Lounsey, oh, Lounsey going wide, where's the corners not there, apparently? Oh, here we go, we can maybe get a run. There we go, big old bomb. There we go, move done, nice. Good stuff. A little bit of an opportunistic move there. I don't think we're going to get Lounsey. We could try. Oh, hello. Yes, we might if they go wide like that. Both him and Rick struggling for grip. You're pushing him through there. I reckon we got it here. We go for the big old bomb. Hey -ya! There we go. Pull it up. Yep, no problem. So Davey might get him back anyway. That's a move done. Nice. Good couple of moves there at the end. Get the elbows out a little bit. No contact though. All fair. All's fair in love and war. As they say. But around the final corner for the last time. In this race here at Sydney Motorsports Park. Against the AI. Supercars in Automobile Easter. It's going to be a P15 for us. 10 spot gain from the back of the grid. Not too bad. And a car they haven't driven too much in quite a long time so I will take that good stuff because the AI are kind of slowing down as well which is good on the outlap they'll still try and pass me but you know good that they at least slow down a little bit but either way that is the video as I go, <laughs> go a bit wide whoa <laughs> and the fitting the nearly looping on the cooldown lap but either way hope you guys enjoyed that one I had good fun with that good to have a little bit more of a chilled 
race against the AI, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully I can do a bit more AMS content and RFG content as well, like I've done in the past. Just get a little bit of, you know, bit of variety there. We'll see how we go. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. Till next time, it's bye for now.